Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want my help, personal help, visit the description below. You can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we can jump on Zoom, or you can send me any questions you might have to my WhatsApp or my email address, okay? So today's video is a little bit different to what I normally put out. Right. I normally put out strategies, techniques to help you grow, scale, get new clients, charge more. But today I want it to become a little bit more personal. Right. I want to talk about why consistency wins in this industry. So I'm going to take you back five years ago when I first started my business. And I remember sitting down on my desk and, you know, making notes about how I wanted the business to look like what I wanted it to do, uh, who I wanted to train, how much I wanted to charge, and essentially the philosophy behind, behind the business, right? Now, when I sat down to do this, I thought to myself, right, I've got, I've got a plan, I've got a strategy, I know exactly what I want it to look like, but now I need to make a commitment. Right. I need to make a commitment to making sure that this works. So I had to decide I had to make a big decision and I said, right, if I'm gonna make this work and if I want to do this full time, okay, I have to treat it as a full time thing. Okay. If I treat it as a part time thing or as a side thing, it's not gonna work. Right. And I'm a type of person that if I start something I want to make sure I go all in on it because I want it to work, okay? So the message of this video today is if whatever you're doing in your business, it's working, okay, stay consistent to it, right? Don't, all, don't constantly change, go, you know, don't constantly change what you're doing or see what someone else is doing and follow what they're doing, right? Stick to your strategy, stick to your vision, stick to your focus and commit to it, right? Stay consistent to what you're doing. Look, I speak with coaches every single day and some of them say to me, oh, Leo, you know, I've only been able to add one, one new client in the last 30 days. So what I say to them, I say to them, right, great, fantastic. What have you done or what have you been doing in order to get to that one, one new, add in that one new client? And they're like, oh, well, I've been speaking to, to a lot more parents. Okay, fantastic, right. How, what, what do we need to do in order to get now to two new clients a month? Well, Leo, we need to, I, I think I need to just keep speaking to parents. Okay, great. So you need to speak to more parents, so more people who need to know who you are, and you need to make sure that you provide value to those parents. Okay, so when you're doing something and it's working, you have to stay consistent to it, right? And if you're, if, if you're doing something that, that's working and suddenly you drastically change and you deviate and you do something else and you realize, you know what, this isn't working and then you go back to plan A, okay, plan A might then not start, might not work because you've lost your focus, right? You've got to say, right, if I want to add X amount of clients per month, and last month I only added one, what do I need to double down on in order to get to those 10? Okay, maybe you need to do more videos on social media, maybe you need to send out more DMs, maybe you need to join more Facebook groups, maybe you need to attend more events where there's parents and you can speak to parents, tell them about your business, and um, maybe you need to put on more taster sessions at local clubs or offer your services to coaches who have teams Right, there's a lot of things that you can do in order to grow and scale, but you need to stay consistent with it, okay? And consistency for me always wins in the long term. It might not win in the short term, 
Okay, because sometimes we're, we're very consistent and then we figure out, right, this isn't working, this isn't working. But if you push through that, I can tell you from experience and from working with coaches that it will work, right? So you've got to stay focused, you've got to stay, you've got to keep that vision and you've got to say to yourself, right, if I want to do this full time, if I want this to be my only thing I'm doing every single week, every single day, I need to treat it that way, okay? I need to wake up in the morning, I need to have a plan behind my day, I need to make sure that I'm doing this, this, and this to generate leads and get new clients. It's not gonna be easy, right? Sometimes you're gonna to speak to parents and go, oh, this is too expensive, oh, we're already busy, oh, you know, we'll think about it. You know, <laughs> I've been in this industry for so long, I've heard every excuse a parent has Possible, but really and truly, there's there's two main uh, objections that a parent has, right? Number one, it's money. Okay, they don't have the money at the moment in order to commit, which is fine. Everyone's at a different financial, but instead of telling you about the money, they're going to use another excuse. And the second one is time. Okay, some parents just don't have the time to commit to your sessions. Right, because they're doing something else. So really and truly, if you get an objection, it's going to fall under those two things. One, it's going to fall under time. Right, my, We don't have much, child uh, is too busy at the moment with training, or it's going to come down to money. Right, And sometimes the objection is money, but they use time as an excuse. But really and truly, those are the two main ones when it comes to parents and kids. Okay, and they all fall back to to this uh, to these two objections, right? So you have to think to yourself, right, if I want to make this work, if I want to make this grow, these are the two objections I'm going to face, right? And if I let it affect me that a parent has said, right, this is too expensive, or we don't have time at the moment, and you feel down, you feel like, Do you know what, this isn't going to work, okay? Most coaches quit. Okay, most coaches quit because they want instant success. But in this industry, you don't get instant success, right? You only get success and you only get success for what you put in, okay? Now, I have this methodology and I have this, this thing that when I started five years ago in my training business, and it's the same concept that I use when I work with coaches as well, is that if... I don't appreciate one player, okay, and if I don't take into account that one player that I'm working with who has seeked my help, wants to show up to my session, wants to train with me, then I don't deserve 10 players or I don't deserve 100, right? So if I can't appreciate that one player that I have or the two players that I have or the three that I have, then I don't deserve 100, 300 players. Okay, and this is a concept that you must have in business, right? A lot of coaches are like, oh, I've only got one player. I'm going to scrap it. This, this isn't working. But really and truly, if you give 100% to that player, not only are you learning, you can set up some type of referral where they're going to refer another like-minded player to your program. And that's where it starts to grow and, and the business starts to boil. Okay, but that's the concept I've lived by. I... It's the same with coaches, right? If I don't deserve, to, if I don't appreciate one coach who has reached out to me with help, wanting my help, then I don't appreciate what having the opportunity to work with 10, 20, 30, or even 40 coaches, okay? I have to go through everyone in order to get to that right person. And that's just part of business, right? And it's part of the industry we are in. We're a service-based uh, business. So you've got to service people to the point where you find the right one. Okay? And not everyone is going to be the right fit, but if you're consistent and you're consistently looking for that right fit, then you will find them. Okay, So hopefully you, you know, you've enjoyed this video, you've liked this message, a bit different. There's no real strategy, uh, business strategy behind the video. It's more just a bit of a motivational video and just one to take into account that having done this for a very long time, the person that is most consistent is the person that wins.
Okay, if you aren't consistent and you're always looking for, for greener, greener grass somewhere else, that's how you're going to live life every day, right? Looking for alternatives, looking for something else. And essentially, you know, you're not going to be able to grow and scale to the next level. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content.